Hi, this is another instruction video from Hardy. If it's been a while since you've worked with the 6500 computer, we'll work you through the basic steps. Let's start by turning it on. When the computer turns on, these diodes um, should light up and only um, blink if I push a function like now. They shouldn't blink constantly. If there's a constant blink, then there is something wrong with the communication, so check your um, operator's manual for that. If we look at the layout, we have the presets here. Um, I'm showing the tank contents here. Um, um, I can push my speed, uh, my uh, application rate. It all comes up in this big screen. These small screens, um, they can you can set those up yourself. Uh, it's in the setup menu. Um, uh, but here I'm showing the program rate. Um, and the active boom sections, if I turn it on, that'll go to 24. If I turn it off, yep. I've got navigation keys up here, to up and down, left and right. Uh, I've got an enter button, an escape button. I've got a numeric key, um, a bit like your telephone. And then I've got a, a, a function one, two, three, four uh, set of keys here in white. Um, I've got a dilution kit on this, and to call that uh, up, I can push uh, the F1 button and there I have the, uh, the dilution, um, and I can go in and operate uh, the dilution kit from these uh, function buttons. To fold the boom out, I would first raise it. Here I've got this function on the grip. Raise it. Uh, then I would um, unfold the inner section, the outer section, and then I would use these buttons to bring the boom tips down. All the things that you do often with the hydraulics is located on the grip. Uh, the things that you should do standing still uh, are found on the uh, set box. The set box also has um, um, controls of the pressure regulation valve. So if I push this, you'll see that the display has gone from automatic to manual. So here I'm uh, manually regulating the pressure. By pushing auto, I bring it back to the auto function. There are some functions on this uh, set box that are not used. I do have uh, the IntelliTrack system, and that's uh, controlled by these buttons here. Um, if I'm in the field and uh, um, using the system, uh, I would use the automatic button, and you'll see the uh, track uh, blue symbol with the hand in the display go to um, auto green uh, once I've pushed that. Let's now change uh, the programmed rate. I've got a programmed rate shown here and to change that there's actually two ways I can do it but um, if we take the um, the obvious way is to use the uh, the enter key I would go into the menu and it's something I do often so it's uh, these things done often are the daily settings I would enter that and there I have my volume rate I enter that again and I want to change it to in this case 150 150, enter, and then I would uh, escape that. And now you'll see on the display that it's gone from 120 to 150. Um, this sprayer, uh, I have to set the uh, tank contents manually. Normally I would see the tank contents here, um, and I have uh, just put 4,000 litres in the tank. So to change that again, daily settings, something I do often, tank contents, and you see down here there's a little um, text that also um, helps you um, understand what that function is. Enter, I need 4,000 entered into that, enter and escape. Um, so that's there. Uh, this will count down uh, once uh, I start spraying. And over here, you'll see the total volume sprayed out. So if I've sprayed uh, two tanks out, I'd be showing uh, a value of about 8,000 over here. Um, the last thing, there's a zero one up here. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, uh, I do want to register what I've done. Um, this is my field zero one. I have 99 uh, fields uh, that I can uh, play with. I'm using field 99 as a total trip teller in this case. But um, if I enter that, and again, uh, something done often, it's my um, 
select register 1.3 and I've got it set on 01 for example I want to change it to my register 02 and I've moved that little arrow down and now I'm in uh, 02 escape 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 and that value has now changed to 02 um, there's a little shortcut the first one is to use a numeric key. So if I push enter and I want to go to 1.3, if I push 1 and then 3, enter, it, it brings me straight into it. There's another shortcut too that you may like to use. If I, if I push and hold this button, it'll bring me straight into the register. Same goes for, um, uh, for example, uh, uh, application rate. Push and hold, and it brings me straight in. If we look at the, uh, the set box, um, I have the boom unfolding functions here. And uh, once you've unfolded the boom, there is a lock that must be uh, open. If I push that, it becomes green and uh, the lock when you're spraying needs to be open because this allows the boom to move freely. There's one button I haven't talked about up here uh, and this is a question mark. Uh, if you push that there's a, um, a help text in behind all the buttons. So if I push for example um, this button here it gives me a short description of what it does I can also push, for example, this button down here, and it tells me it's something about folding the left outer section out. And uh, press the question mark to escape that. We hope this guide helped you. Uh, for other hardy instruction videos, see our YouTube channel.